Now that is one fine Asdell ultralight couples camper right there. And it comes in around 5,740 pounds, the Freedom Express 248 RBS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, back for another awesome season. And the little updates that they've done to all the Freedom Express ultralights have really hit home on this one. It still maintains the use of Asdell in the sidewalls and the wide stance stability axle system, plus the nice target length. Uh, keeps this one very solidly comfortably within the realm of half ton towability. If what you're looking for um, is something that will give you a good living space when you get there, but you're not going to be white knuckling it the whole way, this will be a really good option. It's also an extremely rare example of a lighter weight trailer that's really good for bigger folks like me with a taller ceiling and a true clean bed and one of the best underbed storage systems I think I have ever seen. New standard roof solar prep. Things like getting rid of the carpet in the slides, they just keep getting better down there, Coachman. I, I like what I see here. Now, I've made no secret that for a couple years in a row here, Freedom Express has been among my personal favorite brands. And, you know, I see all kinds of different RVs. And as a person who actually camps and sees all these things, I think pound for pound, they are one of the hardest brands to beat out there. They are always something. It doesn't matter, like, if I was looking at a couple's camper, a bunk model, if I was looking at a travel trailer, somehow there's always a Freedom Express in my personal top three. And I'd really love it if you hung around and I could really show you a few reasons why I feel that way. First of all, the, it's a lightweight trailer. It's super towable, but it's made for tall, big people like me. And that is so hard to find out there. It's got that taller six foot nine ceiling. I love the lighter, brighter colors that we're looking at. Now there's a couple different fabric decor options. So the one that we have in stock might have a different dinette or couch cushion color, but that's about it. The um, uh, longer true queen bed and the recent changeover to that carpetless, ventless floor. They had ventless flooring before, but the slides used to have carpet. And I think that is a major shift forward for this brand. Um, I'm basically standing at like the bedroom door, but I'm right next to the sofa. This one gives you that easy direct viewing entertainment center. And you might notice down below here, there's like an open pocket below that dinette right there. Um, that is really one of the first indications of this thing that they got really creative and really effective with a lot of storage in here. Because as you see that free floating folding leg table, which is hard to spit out without flubbing up most of the time. I managed to do it today though. It, it gets out of the way so that you can get to that rear bench because a lot of campers have these side dinette doors. And it's really nice that Freedom Express does too. But they take it up another notch by putting these sliding panels on that rear bench so you don't need to half disassemble the whole dinette just to get to the storage. A little clutter cut and shoe garage down there below the entertainment center. And you can see how they leave us like basically almost like in a, uh, an appliance center here. Not appliance, phone charger station. That's kind of what I'm looking for. You got USB plugs, household plugs. If you wanted to, you could add uh, like easy access there with that HDMI plug and that USB plug for like, uh, say like, a Roku streaming stick or something like that. And there's a lot of really cool things you can do with it. This model always has that dedicated pantry next to the refrigerator, but we are looking at an optional fridge today. Normally, this model has an eight cubic foot, two-way gas electric fridge freezer, which is great. Very handy for off-grid camping too. But what we're looking at here today is the larger, faster cooling and travel safe 10.7 cubic foot DC compressor fridge. Now the thing is those only have three or four amps once they're down to like cruising temp, which takes them one fourth of the time of an absorption fridge, by the way, because they're an active cooling fridge. And if you got like even a basic solar package, extra battery and or generator, those things will organically handle the, um, you know, the demand that fridge would place for a boondocking arrangement. Another cool thing on this one, like I'm sitting here in the dinette, You've got some pretty decent window coverage over there looking straight out at the campsite. Now, this one obviously doesn't have one of those traditional giant picture windows like you like to have. But the thing is, you still, I mean, frankly, you can see out there pretty darn well. And that main window in the entry door, you see uh, it, it's a full viewing window, but it is also shade ready. Now, remember, this camper's a little bit taller, which means they have a little bit more headroom in all of these cabinets here. Not headroom, you know what I mean, storage space. And just to kind of demonstrate how big that is, 
I put the sink covers above this double stainless sink right there in that cabinet to show you how you know it, it fits absolutely no problem in there. Um, and also, I, I'm not doing my job, and my rep said he would kill me. Uh, he said that for real. If I didn't show you the utensil drawer. Then again, he never asked me to name it that. It's just a thing that I came up with. But that is hands down the best use of space under sink I've ever seen. They have to have it patented. I don't know, because I've never seen another brand do it, and it's dumb that they haven't. So Freedom Express must have some kind of legal hold on it. But then just little things like this, like down below that sofa, every nook and cranny, they packed full of storage capacity to the absolute maximum limit. And then just extra little things like, I, they, they probably could have put no cabinet overhead here, but aren't you glad they did? And it's those little things that will separate a Freedom Express from so many other brands. The little sliding panel under the dinette, the, the, the extra storage above the sofa, they are always willing to take it up a notch. Speaking of which, they're not just doing the simulated uh, cinema sofa right here with that fold down armrest. They are also including uh, a little bit nicer version that has USB plugs and little LED lights inlaid into those cup holders so you can see where you're setting your cup at night. Again, it's a bunch of little touches, like the taller ceiling with a taller slide out. So many brands will do a taller ceiling and then still leave a shorter slide. The TV that pivots toward the dinette or faces straight at the sofa. They just, they nail it on all levels here. And it occurs to me, you haven't seen a good look at the kitchen without me having everything gaping wide open. When you close it all down, it has just a nice, clean look about it. Now, as long as we were looking up at that, ref uh, not the refrigerator, the uh, <laughs> air conditioner, the other thing that helps cooling stuff, I, I want to mention that like 99 times out of 100, here at Halid RV, we're going to have ours outfitted with a 15,000 BTU air conditioner instead of a 13.5. The only time that that might not be true is like if uh, a loose one of these uh, comes available at the factory, we'll scoop these up regardless because they're so, so popular that very often we need to get our hands on any of them that we can. You may also notice, not just in the kitchen, but over in the dining area, you'll see again in the bathroom, all of the countertops in this are a sealed edge press membrane so that, God forbid, you have a spill or some kind of water exposure, you just take a towel and dry it up. And speaking of the bathroom, that's what's going to be behind that dark wooden door right there. Now, first of all, quick shout out. Thank you, Freedom Express, for giving us a door that actually locks. That's another one of those fine details a lot of brands tend to miss. A porcelain foot flush stool instead of plastic. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how else to say this, but if you are looking for legroom, ooh boy, does Freedom Express deliver. You got the towel uh, hanger right there, right behind the toilet, and there's something about a window. What is it about a window in the bathroom that just really classes up the joint? <laughs> I know that's such a low class way of saying it, but you get what I mean. Now, similar to in front of that toilet, headroom in the shower with this being a taller travel trailer, that means that a taller person like me can stand in this larger radius corner shower without constantly having to put your head up in the skylight bubble. And again, you get out of the shower, you need legroom in front of the toilet, man, it has got it in space spades in this thing. And once again, I keep saying in spades, I know what it means. I wish I understood why it meant that, you know? Now, um, as we flip around the other direction here, what's a little less obvious is there's a huge amount of storage staring at us right here. I'll get that open in just a second. You might be wondering why didn't they carry it down further? And what are those vents? Behind this wall is the exterior camp kitchen, and that's a heat vent down below, by the way. Those vents are allowing the outside refrigerator to breathe a little bit if the door is closed and the outside kitchen fridge is going. And then above that, so that you don't need a stepladder to get to it from the outside, they give us some serious storage space in here. And what is so nice is this is not just a lot of storage. Let me move around this so you can see it a little bit in like three dimensions. Reach my arm way back there, like past my elbow, basically. I mean, that's, that's big space. But up top, we also have a full length hanging rack. So if you want to hang some extra stuff in there, you can. Or even if you're just going to hang like um, storage organizer things, there's all sorts of things you can do here. And here's a handy little tip for you from your Uncle Josh, the RV nerd. If you're trying to learn a little bit more about the cabinetry of a camper you're looking at, look inside of the cabinet. Up here, where like there's a T-joint, and you see how that is pocket screwed together? 
That is a step better than just common camper stapling of cabinets, which is fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just that this is something that if you're going to be traveling a lot, going down the road a lot, it'll handle bouncing and jouncing and heavy loads better with less inclination to split apart. Not that that's common whatsoever, but you know, if you're looking for a longer term, more peace of mind kind of investment, you might want to think uh, putting Freedom Express on your map. And if you appreciate these kind of tips, you may want to put Halo RV on your map, hit that subscribe button and follow along with us here because we're always trying to give you the best information we can. And I realized you didn't get a good look at the fact that that's a full medicine cabinet, not just a mirror glued against the wall. And that little shelf pocket right there, super, super handy for a bunch of little things. That is a GFI protected outlet, which if you don't know what that means, uh, basically it'll protect you from making toast in a bathtub if you follow what I'm saying. And then these big paddle switches right here, I really like those things because like when I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm like, I'm like an old cranberry song. I am just a zombie. And chances are you probably have that stuck in your head right now. In your head, zombie. <laughs> uh, moving forward, you've already kind of seen the living room, just to give you another quick look. But that is a sliding pocket privacy door that I just have open, by the way. So the bedroom is fully enclosed, which is a nice little touch. Uh, across from this 60 by 80 true queen bed, by the way, not a short camp queen. That's another reason I like these Freedom Expresses. We have taller ceilings, longer bed, TV hookups right across. They always give us a vent above the bed here, which is nice for light. So that gives us four light sources in here without even turning on the actual lights. We have cross breeze windows plus that windshield on the front. Um, and of course, the windshield does have a privacy shade you can pull down if you're so inclined. Now I mentioned, but I think it's an important fact. I do want to mention again, this is a 60 by 80 true queen bed and you can easily walk around it. Because you're not trying to shove a true queen into a camp queen space, it's always going to be easy to, to uh, you know, get your way through here. Now, naturally, they're giving us dual full-size hanging closets, and you can see a full overhead cabinet space here. But note the details, too. We're still pocket-screwed, all hidden hinges throughout the entire RV. Rarely a brand will do that in the living room and then drop down to, like, a standard hinge, uh, you know, in the bedroom or something like that. Not commonly, but I have seen it happen. And both side stands have household and USB outlets. But below this 60 by 80 queen bed, really that is where the storage that, that's really impressive I think comes into play because the rest of this you've seen in other campers, but what Freedom's doing below is I think something really special. They have this amazing and amazingly well-finished, super detailed, easy lift bed system. And it gives you a good peek into that all aluminum structure that it's all anchored into in here. I love that they didn't leave this construction raw, you know? They finished everything off, it looks good, it looks clean. And what it creates down below here, the way that they've uh, split up the underbed storage, on the inside of both of these side stands, you have uh, shoe garages, not just on the one we're looking at. If you need to sit on top of those, if you wanna like do a puzzle, if you want to fold some clothes or something, you can utilize the spaces more than just a bedroom during the day. Now, a couple other brands are doing something similar, but this is another thing Freedom Express is doing a little different right here. They're opening their dresser drawers outward instead of inward. I've seen similar designs from a few other brands, and uh, they'll often have drawers or storage similar to this under the bed, but you have to lift the bed to get to it, but not in a Freedom Express. I just feel it's a little bit better, smarter, well thought out application of this idea. Taking a quick second to show you the RV here with the slide closed. By the way, when you're traveling, you wanna fold that table down into the down sleeper position to keep it from bouncing around. But one of the greatest qualities of this floor plan, I think, is its travel accessibility. And I think the easiest way I can say it is this, instead of naming all the stuff that you can reach, the only things that you can't reach when the slide is closed are those two tiny cabinets under the TV and the TV itself, which typically for a travel stop is not that big of a deal. But if you need to get back here, you need to check out the, you know, the, the bathroom, the kitchen, you need to stop and sleep, you can do all of that in this floor plan without ever touching the slide out. And if you appreciate the way that we take the extra time and effort to close the slides to show you around, do me a favor. Click that little subscribe button to show us that we're doing a good job for you. And one more thing, guys. Something you should... Do you hear that? Um, if you came here to kill me, clap your hands. Nope, 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 nope. 
first of all, just such a stellar look on these Freedom Expresses. Just the eye appeal, the curb appeal alone. I liked the tan skin generation with the white nose cap, if you're familiar with that still. Um, I called it the Beach House Edition. <laughs> it just had that easy breezy kind of feel to me. But this right here, especially this lighter skin, is going to stay a lot cooler in the su uh, summertime. Pete the dog here is overlooking our baggage door with that handy magnetic hold back, and you will see big doors on both sides of the pass-through. That sticker right there indicates that is where a charge controller could be mounted should you choose to utilize the factory roof solar prep. And these include their own outdoor picnic table. Although remember, you got that free floating table inside, so you could actually have, if you wanted, two tables. Those switches are going to control the nose cap lights and what is basically an awning light that runs the full length of the pass-through uh, up around that aluminum skeleton that you're seeing right there. As we work our way back, you see the uh, uh, stable steps right here, and the LCI stable step gives us that wider, taller plank. Moride has extended their top plank a little bit, but this is still by far the tallest. And once again, you see those wide stance axles. If you're not familiar with that, if you're a little bit newer at this, what that's going to do basically is help keep the trailer from uh, basically bouncing up and down and wiggling left and right going down the road, giving you a smoother towing experience. And as you can see, it's a decent sized trailer, but it's certainly not like a big monster fifth wheel. So a, a, a good half ton, a big SUV like an Expedition will handle something like this very, very comfortably, which is nice that you can have a great comfortable traveling couples camper with great storage and living space that you know doesn't terrify you to get there. Now previously they used those free floating Coleman camp girls and I didn't dislike them. I do prefer what they're doing now though. Um, I think if we're being honest, we're going to call it very Rockwood inspired, but every brand copies from one another. Uh, don't think for a second Rockwood hasn't copied something from Freedom Express at some point as well. Every brand borrows from somebody else, but that table right there, that handy uh, griddle setup, those are fantastic features. And this is one of the few floor plans that actually gets two utensil drawers, giving us double the easy uh, utensil space. So you can have inside stuff, outside stuff, and those long pockets outside will be very handy for like little long necked grill lighters and stuff like that. And then just the little things like including an extra drawer out here, that stuff all adds up. You can see this does give us the larger refrigerator in the camp kitchen, which a lot of brands have gone away from. Smaller, low profile camp kitchens have kind of become the norm, uh, and, and it's weird to see. Now, um, down below, you got a space there for some appliances, or you could plug in like a phone charge adapter. That is a real sink with a real drain, by the way, not just a dog dish that flips into a holding tank. They have, I mean, they have added a lot to this one. This is one fantastic package that we have over here. Uh, now, as we uh, back up a little bit, I want to mention something to someone who might be a little bit newer at this. And if you're familiar with RVs, you've probably heard me talk about Asdell before. If you're not familiar with Asdell, it's a Luon wood panel substitute that Freedom Express uses in their sidewalls. It's quite literally like mostly melted pot bottles. It's recycled material. So it's, you know, green from that recycling perspective. But the material itself cannot rot mold, mildew, and it acts as a significant moisture barrier in the walls. Now the presence of Asdell alone does not guarantee that this RV is going to be somehow magically waterproof, but what it does do is if for some reason there is some sort of water intrusion, it will significantly uh, arrest the rate at which damage could occur on the inside of the RV. Not guarantee, but give you a little more buffer, a peace of mind, which is kind of nice. Power tongue jack doing the heavy lifting for us. They put the spare tire on the front to leave the rear bumper open should you choose to add accessories down the line. And that disconnect switch right there will help make sure the RV doesn't have the batteries getting drained even when you're not using it. And more than just the 12 volt fridge is pulling off that battery, by the way. Then there's more peace of mind things like over here around the slide, you've got one, two, three seals. There's a wipe or a bulb seal on the inside of the RV, so this is going to catch the one when the slide is closed. But three points of contact here on the slide to make sure water's not getting in. And you see the T-shape on this right here. That is going to help grab that rough textured slide wall to keep water out of the camper. Now we're behind the slide and as I back up toward the rear corner of the RV, you see that centralized hookup station right there with a black flush and camp shower. It's those extra things putting that all in one easy, convenient location. You can tell Freedom Express is actually made by people that go camping. People that know camping go camping. 
and you can see the difference in this product. That rear corner is like, that's the proper place for hookups whenever possible because that's where most sites are going to have those hookups. Of course, we're backup camera ready and notice how that ladder sticks up way past the roof line. That means that when I or you get up and down that ladder, you got a little more to hold on to at a very precarious point. And I appreciate little safety things like that as a person who gets up and down a lot of ladders every day. Now, it's not exactly the best idea for me to be up here right now, but I've done dumber things. My wife will confirm that for you. It's not too bad. What I want to show you, though, it does have a fully walkable snow load roof, heavily insulated, but it's got uh, hot air vents right there. That's what that black hockey puck is. In the summertime, the white skin will keep the camper cooler, but that will also help exhaust a lot of heat before it gets into the RV. And then the black plug next to the big bucket antenna that we're looking at here, which is what that is, your TV antenna by the way that is our roof solar prep so if you want to add some panels you can but guess what carol baskin we got a parts and service team at halo rv that can do it for you so if you think they did a pretty good job on this one which i happen to be but maybe i'm a little biased i don't know uh click the like button on the video and if you appreciate the extra tidbits of information and maybe the occasional little laugh that we give you here at halo rv Hit that subscribe button and follow along because we have hundreds more videos just this year plus thousands that we previously recorded out there for you to pick apart, learn from, get to know. And along the way, if you have any questions, anything that we have an answer for you, leave me a comment or feel free to give our team here at our family owned and operated facility call and we would love the opportunity to work with you. And remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees at Halo RV. We only do everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping everyone. Nope, 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 nope,